Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Silent E here. I'm uh, here to give y'all a deck profile on the uh, after the sneak peek my um, my build for the uh, Fire Fist Brotherhood of Fire Fist deck. Um, I, I really like it a lot. I've been uh, playtesting with it with the sense of sneak, and it's doing really well. So um, I've already incorporated you know the uh, play style and game style into my mind, and it's doing good. It's really very uh, powerful, very quick, thin to deck out a lot. And um, it you know it does its play, it does its thing. But uh, let me show y'all the deck profile. I'm missing some cards, but I'll let y'all know when I'm missing when I get to them. The fillers will be in there for now. First, we got a uh, Brotherhood of Fire Fist Bear. That's the key card of the deck, so you need three of them. I only got one right now. I'm uh, looking for two more. But uh, when he inflicts battle damage, you can you can pick a formation spell from the deck and set it. And also, uh, you can get rid of a face-up formation spell or trap to destroy a monster on the field. So that's really helpful. Next is another card I'm missing one of is a uh, dragon. Um, he works like the Lumina for the deck. So um, you can get rid of two for them. Well, first of all, if you activate a formation while this card is on the field, you can set a trap formation from the deck to the field. But... Um, Anyway, for his effect, other effect, get rid of two face-up formations. You can pick one fire fist, uh, monster and grave, and special it to the field. So that really, it's really good. I want one more. I only got one for now. Next is uh, two snakes. Um, if you got the uh, or once per turn, if it's a formation and sent to the grave, you can uh, pick a tra set tra a trap formation and set it on the field. Also, his other effect, you get rid of two formations to uh, draw one card, but he has to be the only monster on the field to do that. So it's, it's pretty good. I got my two for that. Next is a uh, gorilla. I run two. Uh, each time he uh, just destroys a monster by, you know, destroys opponent's monster by battle, you can um, you can grab a spell, formation spell, and set it. And also, uh, you can get rid of a a formation to destroy your opponent's spell or a trap card so he gets rid of back though, which is good and these are the three fillers for now when I get the one dragon and uh, two more bears this raven whenever he's sent to the from the field to the grave you can just pick a spell and uh, set it formation spell and also I run uh, two reborn tengus they're pretty good they're beast warrior and um if one's hit off, I'll get the other one. It's win, so I can at least run Chidori, Lightning Chidori in the main. And uh, they're only in here for now until I get the enthusiastic uh, Beastman Wolfbird. Once that's once that's released, I'll replace them with this. And I run two Fate Veilers. I got I need some control so I can negate stuff. Two Trags. I'm always holding a lot, so Trag will at least be big and beefy. And that's been at least uh, Pyrorex. I can somehow manipulate the grave a little bit. And not many fires hit the grave like that. So he'll be very helpful. Next is spells. You got the staple, uh, the Tinkai. It's the, uh, it's the road of a Beast Warrior. So you can add any Beast Warrior you want. Also, while this is face up after that, every Beast Warrior gains 100 attack. So that's very good. Next is uh, Tensu. It'll be the uh, the additional normal summon for Beast Warriors, and also as well while it's face up, every Beast Warrior gives 100 attack. Next I run is a uh, two duality. Add any card I need: Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, and uh, three MSTs. And for traps, I run uh, one Tencent. It'll um, <coughs> a Beast Warrior I pick for its effect. We gain 700 attack. And as long as this card's on the field, each Beast Warrior gets a uh, 300 attack. So that's pretty good. Next is Tenken. I uh, pick a Fire Fist monster, or Beast Warrior actually. And it's unaffected by all card effects except for this card for that turn. And while this is facing on the field, each Beast Warrior gains 300 attack. So that's good. I run uh, Starlight Road because, you know, you're going to be setting cards on your turn and your opponent's turn and you might not be able to protect it all from heavy and stuff so if I set this along with it this will keep it safe which is real good 
and a Ryan Wonka Pulse. It's a real good card right now in this format, so it's really good. Two Torrentials, so I can clear the field and get a bear to do his effect when he does indirect damage or battle damage. And I got two bombless, get rid of problems and you know the same deal. Last but not least for traps, I run two horn and a phantom beast. They're all beast warrior and they all most of them get their effects when they either destroy a monster or inflict damage. And I'm drawing after that, so it's gonna be real good. It's real great for it. I like it a lot. And for the extra deck, for now I'm supposed to run only level fours, but until I get my new cards, I got a couple of threes in there. Well one three. And I'm still missing key uh, level four, rank fours as well. But for now, I got two ultimate fire king. They're real nice. Um, what he do is, uh, whenever he's special or uh, exceeded summon, I can I can uh, add, set one trap formation or spell from the field or deck. I mainly go for the trap, the uh, the ten can trap, so I can keep him safe and protected. He won't be affected by all other card effects. And whenever he's sent to the grave, I can send three face-up formations with him. Two special, two fire, uh, two beast warrior. Oh no, this has two fire fists, right? No, two beast warrior with the same attack from the deck to the field in defense mode. So that's real good. I'll just special two fire fists with the same attack. Next, I run one lion emperor for now because I got some rank threes in it, but. Whenever he's uh, hit made with two level 3 fires, I can detach the material to add a fire monster from the grave to the hand. And I, I just can't summon or special anyone with that name until the end of the turn, basically. So it's okay. I run a go -Go, uh, Gaga Gigo on the horizon. Since I can make a bunch of ring 4s, I just put him in there. Then I got Gem Knight Pearl, Utopia Ray, Utopia, Cowboy. Shockmaster, uh, she's in there for now. I need a May Stroke for her. Um, Photon Butterfly, Black Corn, still some Roach, Abyss Dweller, and Stardust Dragon for the uh, Starlight Road. And that's it, YouTube. Uh, like I said, I will be main this deck, and it's real doing real good for now. And I'll let y'all know what else is going to happen. All right, YouTube. This is uh, Silent E. And I'll be back later. Y'all yeah, take it easy. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and just let me know what you think. Any comments, any questions, concerns. Alright, see you later.